For Tina Kiever, I went to the zoo. Veteran Canadian rocker David Wilcox has recorded five gold and platinum records during his four decade career in the music industry. Hey brother, if you want a thing that's hip, do the bear cat. Do the bear cat. Uh, right from the start. He knew that in order to make it as a professional musician, you have to write songs that will stick in people's heads. Now that's a way we like it, uh, do the bear cat. In the beginning, um, when I had no record deal and no airplay, um, I wanted to write songs that a person could remember if they started listening toward the end of the song. So I'd write something like Do the Bear Cat, or you know, a song where if you heard the chorus, um, you could jump in right away. In the early 80s, David was fully immersed in the rock star lifestyle, but got his first break on the folk scene. In his early 20s, David bought a pawn shop fender, but didn't even know how to plug it in. Regardless, he landed his big break playing backup for Ian and Sylvia Tyson. That was like a magic door. I was about to turn 21, and I heard they needed a guitar player. And that was the big gig on the uh, folk and, and uh, you know, folk rock scene uh, in Canada, I guess, at that time, never mind Toronto. Decades later, David's main guitar is a classic Fender Telecaster. But this 78 has been seriously modified. It's my main work guitar. Um, it is an excellent Telecaster uh, by itself, without any modifications. Um, in other words, a really good sound. The classic Tele sounds, you know. But um, many times uh, through the years, I've been responsible for the um, altering or mutilation, some would say, of Telecasters experimenting to get the most broad tonal range. Tellies are known for one classic sound, a distinctive twang. But David wanted his guitar to be able to produce a full spectrum of sounds. I don't like changing guitars on stage. And so um, uh, uh, the, to have one guitar that will do the most that one guitar can do has always been my dream. With the help of his guitar tech, he got an epic range. This is, I'll say, our masterpiece, because I don't do electronic work myself. And there's a wonderful guy named Mike Zimmerman, uh, who is uh, my guitar tech, and who did the actual wiring, but the concept is mine. The two original Tele pickups are still there, but also there's a de reissue here, and a humbucker reissue, a Gibson-style humbucker reissue there. Now, um, there are four toggle switches. What that allows me to do is to have every conceivable combination of in and out of phase. Uh, so there's about 30 some tone positions that we'll get. Now, you can get a nice thin sound like a like that. You can get that sweet humbucker sound. You know, and anything in between, and all kinds of odd, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, varieties of sound. I have never played an electric guitar with a broader tonal uh, range, uh, active electronics or otherwise. I have never found one, uh, and and if there is one, I'd like to try it. One of his other favorite guitars, a National Duolian, is about as simple as you can get compared to the Tele. But the Delta sound takes him back to another era. It reminds him of that special one that got away. When 
was a teenager, I bought one of these and I sold it eventually out of necessity, um, and I always regretted it. And so many years later, I found this one. The reason for its existence is it's the ancestor of the electric guitar. Um, the problem with guitar playing uh, for many years was volume. You know, a person plays in a bar or something like that with an acoustic guitar. It amazes me that an artist like Blind Lemon Jefferson would play a dance all night for two or three hundred people with one acoustic wooden guitar. So, one of the things they innovated was this, which is a metal guitar, obviously, with a kind of a pie uh, pan shaped resonator inside and these little uh, holes in it so the sound can get out. And it, it sounds really interesting. David's style and his lyrics certainly have evolved from the days of riverboat fantasy and the Bearcat. His new mantra seems to be less is more. Hopefully um, it's gone deeper uh, and gotten simpler, I would think, uh, because I think simplicity is one of the essences of really meaningful music. So um, I keep learning all the time. Music has unlocked a world of opportunity for David. But it's the words of a yogi that sum up why he goes back to his guitars time and time again. Music is the fastest way to bliss, you know? And I've always felt that, not consciously before I heard the quotation, but uh, it just, it takes me away like nothing else does.